Okay, this is August, I don't know, 13th maybe of 2010, and I'm pointing the camera down at the road here. This is a, this is an old logging road on my property, and me and the dogs come up here because we're going to look at our, check out our water system. Here you see what had once been a mobile home has been dismantled and is laying all over the over the ground here. But this is the route to the water, the gravity water system. And Brian's going to lead the way. There he goes. Come on, Hecky and Lila, get out there. This is, this is the approach to the, the water system. <laughs> there goes Hecky. Where's Lila Lou? There she is. There's Lila Lou. Uh, I gotta negotiate through the trees here. Now <laughs> we gotta go up. Gotta go down this hill, and I think I'll just turn the camera off so I don't fall down and break my neck. There go the dogs. Go on, Lila, get on down there. Show them how. Go, go on, scoot. Of course, she's gonna wait for me. Then the path continues on down the hill here through the ferns. Shad must have been back here with the machete because the path is considerably wider than it had been. I can actually walk through here now. There's, there's little Lila Lou. He cut this log. <laughs> Look what he did. He cut this log and turned it into a step. That was very considerate. And down there is the water tank. That's where the water well, goes into there. This is always a good sign when the water is flowing over from the tank. That means we're, we are doing real good. And here this noise is Brian having a drink. So anyway, so here we got the tank with this line coming out of it. And the line goes up this draw. And now I'm going to go up there which requires a bit of negotiating, so I think I'll, I'll turn off the camera for a moment now. Up ahead is the dam that Shad built. This is, this is just amazing. Shad uh, has revamped my whole gravity water system because this is the middle of August, and normally I'd be about out of water, and as I've said, the water is overflowing right now, and because of this dam that Shad built, <laughs> It's pretty amazing. I'm I'm pretty amazed by it anyway. Got to get up here without breaking my neck. Ugh. Here we go. There's the dam. It's just he. There were some trees laying here, so he just like this. He just cut them up and rolled them in there into place. And he stopped the water pretty good, I'll say that. I'm going to see what's on the other side. Then on the other side of the dam, this dam is taller than I am, actually. On the other side are hoses and pipes and things. Those are for runoff this winter when the water gets too high. There's the part of the tree he cut to make the dam. This plastic is to keep the silt to a minimum, but I see a lot of silt in there right now. That's something that will have to be worked on in the future. And then the water, you can't see it, there's too much growth, but the draw keeps going right on up the mountain there. And the water's just coming down and it collects here in a pool, which is very low, but sufficient. It's sufficient, it's getting the job done. This winter it'll be just humongous. In fact, uh, some of these will have something will have to be done to reinforce the dam because the water will the water's going to be coming through pretty big, big time. Anyway, that's the gravity system. Now the dogs are going to lead back up the trail. The thing I like about coming back here is it can be 90 degrees and out in the yard. We come back here and it's nice and cool and it's pretty, pretty pleasant, except for the flies, but you no, know, there's no getting away from the flies. They're, they are a reality. Come on, Lila Lou, you lead the way, sweetie girl. There she goes. 
Lila Lou, she's the alpha dog. <laughs> she's the, you're the alpha dog, aren't you, Lila? Here we go, up the hill. Come on, dogs, let's go. Let's go. See how fast you can, ah, heck, he can go up. Can, can I go up? 